Okay, two variations of the depth jump movement, both similar to the drop jump that was demonstrated in a previous video in this training session. What we're gonna do is integrate the arms in this. So we wanna create a gathering with the arms. You're gonna use your arms to pull yourself down and back into your hips, into your legs. That's gonna create the energy you need to create a big jump. And this is what we call a longer ground contact time. It's gonna stretch out the amount of time you spend on the ground, but you're gathering force in this position, okay? This is similar to an approach jump done from deeper knee angles. So what we would do from the box, Similar preload, but you're in an extended position, so we don't want the hips to be flexed at all. We actually want you to be tall, even slightly to the ball of the foot. Arms straight out while keeping that rib cage locked, so tension's still here. That's gonna help you pull down into the ground. You're gonna do that from here. From this position, pull down, up, back into a landing position. That's gonna go by hard and fast. It takes a lot of energy to turn what you're bringing down into what you're pushing up with, and that will create elastic energy over time. So this will start out feeling really slow, taking a long time, giving three, four weeks of practice with this, building into six, eight weeks by the end of July, and we should be really good at this movement, and that will help our vertical jump performance. If we're gonna initiate that without the box, it follows the same rationale of the drop jump. You're gonna start tall here. You're gonna execute a little bit of a half a jump from this position. So from this position, jump, drop, jump, land. A little more complex, but in the absence of a box, can be a suitable alternative.